Well, thank you very much, Prime Minister Nechas. Uh, you've given me twice, uh, now in a year, uh, a warm welcome to me and now to our expanded delegation. We've hosted you in Israel with your ministers. Uh, I believe that Israel has no better friend in Europe than the Czech Republic. Uh, I think it's because there's no place in Europe where Israel's uh, challenges are better understood. The Czech people understand what it's like to be a beleaguered democracy in a hostile region. The Czech people value freedom and enterprise and science and initiative, and this creates an immediate uh, bonding between us. And the Czech people can appreciate, I believe, as few nations can, why only a secure Israel can achieve peace. Mr. Prime Minister, the, the friendship between the Czech people and the Jewish people go back, uh, goes back, I think, a thousand years. Uh, and we're both uh, ancient nations, but with a view to the future. Uh, we value our past and, our, and cherish our values, but we also want to seize the future. Uh, so this is another basis of our partnership. Uh, we discussed uh, uh, many things, uh, but one of them is how to seize the future. Uh, Israel has uh, high uh, technology. You have design and technology. You also make things. You design things and make things. That's something that is beginning to disappear from the, uh, from the picture in uh, developed societies, and this is something that we value. We want to share with you our high technology, but also learn from you, your vocational training, your industrial design. Uh, and I think together we could not only teach each other great things, but we could uh, also do uh, great things uh, in joint ventures. So we deeply appreciate your friendship, both in political forms and in our expanding trade in our uh, expanding cooperation. So this government-to-government -government meeting today is an expression of that deepening bond. We have here uh, uh, a delegation that consists of the Israel's ministers of uh, foreign affairs, transportation, uh, industry and trade, communications, welfare, housing and construction, culture and sport, and science. It doesn't leave that much out, but there are other things that we want to do in all areas. Uh, so we've just signed a number of agreements today, and this meeting also gives us the opportunity to discuss the uh, many challenges that face both uh, Europe and the Middle East and the world. And I look forward to uh, continuing these discussions with you uh, today, tonight. Uh, and I, uh, I want to say that we have a common goal to achieve uh, security, prosperity, and peace. And I thank you once again for this uh, warmest of welcomes. Thank you, Peter.